Is this that? Hello, what a lovely evening. This is our moment of terror. Hello. <laughs> All good fun. I'm having a very nice time, I have to say. So I'm going to play you. Uh, I, I won't be singing, I did be singing earlier on. Yeah. It was but, noticed. Yes, it was noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Mentioned in dispatches. I understand that. Here's a. Um, yeah, a couple of tunes. The first was written for a friend of mine on her 15th birthday. Now you'd think that an accordion player writing a Scottish harp, a 15-year-old Scottish harp player, a tune wouldn't go down too well, but she was delighted. And it's just named after her. She's got the coolest name in the world. Her name is Lola Flexen. That's very cool, isn't it? And then after that, a tune uh, called Jack Cove Maker.
It's funny, teaching all week is not like playing all week. And coming to this playing, it's like, oh yeah, good to play for a week. Yeah. I could play you, um, I'll play you something I've never played on my own before. <laughs> I you normally know, play it with my two pounds, Sam and Rock, and I thought I might give it a go. Uh, three tunes, the first one was written by Mr. Sam Sweeney. And, and it's a tune called Byron's after a lovely old English sheepdog. And then afterwards, that, uh, a tune called, that I was commissioned to write uh, for a band, a Scottish band called The She. In fact, Brian did one of the commissions as well. And uh, my, my funny little thing that I made up was called, yeah. is called Lady Grey. And my lovely accordion group have uh, been subjected to that for a day or so. Also, yes. And then at the end, there's a funny, funny little tune that I wrote. I kind of made it up a few years ago. Um, I happened to be at home on my own and I was sat in my kitchen playing the accordion and uh, with the company of a fine bottle of red wine. And uh, I was having a lovely old play and just having a nice old time. And uh, some friends were traveling from down from kind of this part of the country back up to Scotland, uh, Martin Green and Inga Thompson, the kind of old pals. And they called in just for a cup of tea and a bit of a, bit of a break. And they came in and I think I might have been nearer the bottom than the top of the bottle of wine. That's quite, that's quite jolly. And uh, I came in and they came, oh, how are you doing? I said, oh, I'm great, I'm great. I've just made up a little tune, a funny little tune. And they said, all oh, right, how did it go? And I couldn't remember it at, the sec at that particular moment. And I just blurted out, I said, oh, I, I can't remember it at the moment, but, but it sounds just like Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I'd invited, I was make, making a record with a piano accordion player called Karen Tweed, who made a duo record, and we invited uh, Martin to come and guest play. The, we thought two accordions wasn't enough on the record, so we got Martin to come and play. And at the end of the little recording thing, it was lovely, it was great hanging out with Martin. And he was, he was off back up north, and we said, well, how much do you want? And he was like, no, I don't want paying for it. It's been a brilliant experience. I've really enjoyed playing with you, you know. It's been lovely, so no, you're getting some money. So we gave him some money and uh, he reluctantly accepted it and drove home. About three days later, he phoned up and he said, I said, thank you for the money. I said, oh, why is that? And he said, when he got home, he had his car to service and he took it to be serviced and they found that the brakes were basically failed. They were about to fail quite badly. And uh, so he was able to fix them because he had the money. So it's called breaks. <laughs> 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 